Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Mueller screws Trump by leaking private letter. POTUS responds with brutal surprise. Robert Mueller and his band of anti-Trump Democratic lawyers are desperate as their bogus investigation to destroy Donald Trump's presidency is falling apart. In a last-ditch effort, special counsel Mueller leaked a private letter from Trump to the press hoping to corrupt the minds of Americans. The president responded by dropping a brutal surprise on Mueller and those leftist losers in the media, shocking them all. Don't miss this. Democrats have put all their eggs in the Mueller basket meaning it's imperative to the leftist losers that Mueller does as much damage as he can to President Donald Trump. As a 19-month-long internal affairs report is scheduled to come out next week showing all the corruption and crimes committed by the FBI and DOJ in the Hillary Clinton email scandal, the deep state rats working with Mueller had to do something to damage Trump, now. They leaked to The New York Times a private correspondence from the president's attorney, Jay Sekulow, to the special counsel. It says, in a nutshell. The president could not commit obstruction of justice by firing former FBI Director James Comey. You see, as the president, he can fire anyone in the executive branch that he wants to fire, anytime, for any reason. The big conflict, the deep state rats are counting on, is what was in Trump's mind. Did he fire Comey to stop the Russia investigation? That's their big question. This is just ridiculous. Trump kept his cool and turned over one million pages of documents. There were crimes committed but not by Trump or his campaign. So President Trump used his Twitter feed as a brutal surprise to Robert Mueller and his deep state rats in response to them leaking those letters. Trump tweeted, as only one of two people left who could become president, why wouldn't the FBI or Department of Justice have told me that they were secretly investigating Paul Manafort, on charges that were 10 years old and had been previously dropped, during my campaign? Should have told me. Trump added another tweet to finish his thoughts on the deep state handling this bogus investigation. He posted, Paul Manafort came into the campaign very late and was with us for a short period of time. He represented Ronald Reagan, Bob Dole and many others over the years, but we should have been told that Comey and the boys were doing a number on him, and he wouldn't have been hired. Trump is pointing out the investigation was a scam from the start. PJ Media's DC Allister reported, at this early stage, she, Loretta Lynch, and Comey decided not to tell the Trump campaign about possible national security threats, Manafort, regarding his campaign. When the topic was revisited in late spring, they again decided to say nothing. The report added, this choice to remain silent was a deviation from established guidelines. Investigators are tasked with detecting and interrupting criminal activities at their early stages, and preventing crimes from occurring in the first place, which is much more preferable than allowing criminal plots to come to fruition. This is assuming Paul Manafort, or anyone, like Carter Page or George Papadopoulos, were actual national security threats. We are coming at this playing along with the deep state narrative, namely, that these individuals were national security threats even though there was really no evidence to suggest they were. Manafort was under suspicion of financial wrongdoing and was already being looked at by the FBI, but he had nothing to do with Russian interference in the election a point supported by the fact that he has not been indicted for any crimes related to collusion. But let's play along with they were national security threats, the question is why didn't Lynch and Comey alert the campaign? Why would they not stop possible crimes and threats to our national security immediately? Well, we all know the answer. They never were worried about Russians infiltrating the Trump campaign. They were out to set up Trump and his campaign, and then his presidency, as committing crimes. So they sent out informants aka spies, to approach Carter Page and George Papadopoulos who fed them bogus information telling them, Russia has a ton of dirt on Hillary Clinton. When neither Page nor Papadopoulos did anything with that information, like taking it to the campaign team, the deep state rats sent in the Russian female lawyer to meet with Don Trump Jr. We all know that meeting ended without anything incriminating happening, either. So obviously the cabal at the FBI and DOJ were not trying to protect our national security, they were setting up Trump. Now, special counsel Robert Mueller is running out of time as Americans learn the truth. We know President Trump won't stop until those responsible are brought to justice. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.